Sorry, it's windy, everybody. Just launched a boat, put it there. Docked it. There's the trailer. There's the part that I'm gonna be fixing. So basically, I'm gonna replace this whole beam right here. I bought extra um, this. Can figure out what it's called. Uh, and I got another beam laying over there next to the boat. I'm gonna be replacing that beam here. I'm gonna have to cut it. That's 18 feet, and, and this is. I'm gonna measure it out, but that's either 18 or 16 feet. Uh, but this is what I'm gonna fix. I'm sorry, it's too windy. I'm gonna try to mute some of the wind out as I go. Uh, but I don't see any major problems where um, I'm gonna have problems fix, uh, changing it out. What happened is, see how I have that rope on the boat, the anchor? Well, I used to put that same rope tied to the pontoon. Put uh, Once I was gonna launch it from here, I would go in reverse with a little bit of speed. And right before I hit the water with the, um, with the tires, I slam on the brakes. So what would happen is the boat would slide off. Uh, but that day it was sort of like windy like here, but instead of blowing from north to south, it was from east to west. So as soon as the boat hit, the, uh, got onto the water, got off the trailer, the boat started coming back to the trailer, which ended up hooking here. So when I was pushing out the trailer, um, one of the pontoons got stuck in here. And when I pulled out, it just broke, snapped this on, on uh, while, while I was pulling it out. But this is what I'm gonna be replacing. And uh, stay tuned for the video. Alright, so tools that you need, you need a 13 millimeter socket and it because it has these bolts, nuts and bolts here, bolts, whatever you call them. Uh, Phillips screwdriver, I'm going to be using this power tool. I'm going to staple down the carpet. So I brought my stapler, but I also brought my generator and tank to um, staple down the carpet. I'll be stapling that on the on the bottom. Uh, I brought the generator to power that tank, and um, it uh, looks pretty easy. So start off taking off all the screws. I'm gonna replace this one back with the other uh, once I put the other beam bike on. All right, there should be two, four, six of these that I'm gonna be taking off. So there, this should just come apart. Slide them off. This is broken here too. So it's snapped in three places. Alright, magic trick. 
Here you have the cards. I'm going to do a shuffle them. Either no specific order. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just start mixing them, or keep on bringing some to the top, just like this. Just about like that. And you would see that if I show you the deck after all those shuffles, I separated all the reds and all the blacks. So there you have it. All right, so I measured it. It's uh, 170 and a quarter. Um, the width of this one so already measured this one marked it so let me give it a cut got wood for the fire by the way, this is treated. Um, it's not a regular uh, beam. It, it, it's a treated type of beam or two by if you want to call it that way. But, um, it's cut to size. I'm gonna wrap the um, piece of rug. What are these called? Let me know in the comments. I just can't freaking figure out the name of it. So this is what I got. It's a trailer bunk padding. It's 18 feet by 18 inches. Uh, hopefully this works. Uh, Marine Raider, I got this at Academy. So I'm gonna put this one onto the uh, beam over there and cut it up to, to size.